guys, welcome back to PTV2 on this fantabulous Friday. Today is December 20th. There are some things I'm sure you will want to know about. We have some basketball results, some news about the Washington DC trip, a very special guest, our very own Santa. Welcome to PTV2, Mr. Claus. What's wrong, Santa? It's like 40 degrees. Why do you have a blanket on? Well, I don't want to get uh, a chill before the big night and I'm out uh, delivering toys around the world. Being Santa sounds like it's a pretty tremendous job. What's a normal day like for you? Well, the first thing is breakfast with milk and cookies and then a, uh, a brief with all of the elves. And then I tour the toy factory, making sure that our production line is on schedule. Sounds fun. What would you say is exciting about your job? Spreading joy around the world. By the way, can you tell me if I'm on the nice list? I don't think we have enough time to go through the book of Naughty and Nice, especially where you're concerned. Darn it. <laughs> on estimate, how many presents do you and your elves make on a normal day? I would say at least a million. There are a lot of kids wow. around the world who depend on Santa Claus to deliver presents. That's a lot. Who's your top elf? I'd say Floppy. Floppy the Carpenter is a great elf. Has any human ever been to the North Pole? Not that I'll ever divulge, but I would think that there's been a few that have gotten awfully close. Darn it, I want to be the first. We really appreciate you coming in to be with us, Santa. Thanks for all the great information. Now we know it's the busiest time of the year for you, but we would really love if you'd stop and co-anchor for us. Do you have a couple minutes? Sure, Sarah. I would love to. Awesome. Guess what that means, Lincoln. It means your news today will be delivered by real live Santa. Sit back, relax, and we will be right back. Do you have any pictures taken with me? If so, we would love to see them. Just send them to PBT2 crew at pbptv 2 at plymouth.k12.in.us and we will give you bragging rights and show them right here on the announcements. Today we have Shayla in the corner. She has the weather update for us, some news about sports, lunch, and much, much more. What's up, Shayla? Thanks, Sarah. First off, I'd like to thank our sponsor, Beacon Credit Union. We are here to help get you through your financial fog. The 8th grade basketball A team traveled to Boston last night and pulled off a tough win. They were unable to pull away very far but still won by 3 points and a strong team win. The B team battled all night long but were unable to come out on top, losing by 1 in an overtime battle. The 7th grade boys basketball teams were at home last night against LaPorte Boston. Both teams easily came out on top. The A team won by a score of 38 to 25. They played a strong, tough defensive battle all night. The B team game was a struggle to put points in, but they were still able to win by a score of 18 to 3. Congrats to both the 7th and 8th grade boys. Girls basketball tryouts continue tonight. Both 7th and 8th grade girls will be after school from 2.45 to 4.15. The first boys wrestling practice will be the first day back from the two week break. I hope you attended the meeting last night. Taking a look out the weather window, can you say yuck? At least we got a two hour delay, but if this keeps up, Santa is really gonna need Rudolph's nose to get him through this fog. Look for more rain, some flooding, and then a change back to snow by Monday. But for today, there's a high of 45 and a low of 34. Looks like there's no snow today. Hopefully it will come back in time for Christmas though. And again, thanks to our sponsor, Beacon Credit Union. We are here for you. Now, let's go back over to Santa and Sarah for more announcements. Thanks, Shayla. Did you zone out during the announcements? Need some refreshing? You're not alone. Lots of people do this. That's why Lincoln has their very own newspaper. Just go to ptv2.weebly.com and click on the newspaper link to see what you missed. There is a Colts coat missing. This child really needs his coat. This isn't something to take lightly, Lincoln. This kid will freeze in the winter without his coat. Do you want to be responsible for this student freezing to death? No, that wouldn't be it. A very Merry Christmas. So if you have any idea what has happened to this coat, let Mrs. Bodner know as soon as possible. Lincoln, if you want to go to the Washington, D.C. trip this coming May, you need to get your registration forms in suit. Again, the numbers are getting close to being able to get to the second bus to go. But once it's full, it's full. Get your registrations in over break so you don't miss out on this fantastic once-in-a-lifetime trip. 
And hey, Santa, do you know who has birthdays today? Of course I do. I have to add extra presents to my sack for these guys. Today, Cody Deaton and Luis Munoz have a birthday. Happy birthday from my elves and I. Nia Allen, Colin Harding, John Laura, Cameron Redmond, Nico Witherstein, Jewel Brown, Jose Figueroa Garcia, Joe Hemseth, Jesse Solis, Holden Cadillac, Christopher Chimileski, Brianna Donahue, and Abigail Morales have a birthday on the first week of break. Whoa, that was a mouthful. Yeah, I bet. Now let's review what we learned today. The two-week break starts after school today. Two, make sure you sign up to go on the Washington, D.C. trip. Three, read our online newspaper. Four, wrestling our first practice is the first day back from our break. Five, find the missing Colts coat. Another big thanks to our sponsor, Beacon Credit Union, guiding the way for all your financial needs. This is it, Lincoln. The last couple of hours and you don't have to come back to school for another two whole weeks. This means I'm bringing your presents very soon. I can't wait to see all of your smiling faces on Christmas morning. And then when you head back to school, it will already be 2014. Wow. I know my elves and I are really looking forward to this. And before we leave you today, we'll leave you with one more Christmas fact. Santa, would you like to tell us something we may not know about Christmas? Well, sure. OK, so what you got? Did you kids know the Dutch custom of leaving shoes packed with food for St. Nicholas's donkeys is where we get our custom of hanging stockings out from? That's so cool. Wait, you have donkeys? Of course, but I figured flying reindeer were faster to get all the way around the world in one night. Wow, well you learn something new every day. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas! Bye.